That was down to the last half. Tough that bad for Dusty Harvard. A couple of borderline pitches, and he's done. Folks, third strikeout. Two on and two out now for the top of the order, Donnie Webb. Switch hitter, he'll bat right. Donnie looking for his first base hit of the evening, 0 for 3, with two walks and two runs scored. And the first pitch, and there's a strike. Good Donnie trying to get keep it going. Jordy Mercer, the hero from earlier today, is on deck. Shocker fans, the one making a noise down below, hoping for that last out. The pitch. Cricket ball back door and another call strike. Down over to the Donnie Webb. Mills is at second, Flores is on at first, the Shocker fans are on their feet. Rhythm and clapping. No balls, two strikes, two out. Hope with a stretch and a pitch. Hide away. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the tenth inning. Shockers lead 11 to 7. And they are the undefeated team in this winner's bracket final tonight. On the finals tonight, Cowboys have lost once. No leeway. Swing and a miss. Shock three. Game over. Shockers celebrating a regional championship. Two runs in the ninth for the tenth. Win it 11 to 7 and heartbreak all around for the Cowboys. Well, and pitch attack for both teams. You know, the Cowboys were definitely blowing this tournament before the tournament even started. But you know what? It didn't deter the fact that they came out here and played their rear ends off all weekend. And the things that I saw out of Tyler Blanford, you know, Robbie Weinhardt pitched on two you know, back-to-back days. Louis Flores coming out, or excuse me, before today, earlier first game. Matt Gardner coming out and gutting that thing out for the Cowboys. Just trying to eat it.